Here's how you create a design outline for your printed circuit board. Have a printed circuit board design file open already. Mine is called out, outline examples.brd. First, you need to add something of the board geometry design outline class. So let's go to place or a rather shape rectangular. <coughs> Excuse me. And then for your options, you want to choose board geometry design outline. Type the shape fill, it will be unfilled because this is just an outline. And for the shape grid, I'll use the current grid. You would place a rectangle. I like to use, I like to place a rectangle be, uh, because that's usually I have the dimensions I need. And then I'll use for my corners instead of orthogonal, I'll use like round with an explicit length and a trim and then just draw my shape. So if we use an example outline, let's see. The corner is not quite round enough for me, so I will go with something like 25 and hit tab. Well, actually, so what I need to do actually before I do that is right click, do oops, and then set my value and then try to redraw that. It looks a bit better, more a bit more round. Right click, choose done. So what do we do to, you know, if we have a certain shape for the outline and it needs to have holes in it. Well, in this case, we can use a shape circular and choose a different class. This would be cut out. And then your shape grid, you place your circle. Okay. So go ahead, place your cut out. Place another one, another one. Then you, as you, uh, before you place more circles, you can change there diameter or radius and then now that it's changed I, I can go about placing more of them right okay this looks good so let's say I want to add some weird shapes we can go to add and you can do a three-point arc you know a line let's start with normal lines so on my board geometry, I might go with something like, uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to choose dimension as a general thing for right now. Because we don't have cutout. My line lock is 45 degrees. And my line width can be something five thousandths of an inch is usually good. Line font solid. And then I can just start making shape. Now I am limited to the, um, I am limited to the grid, right? So I would hit cancel, right click, quick utilities, grids. And in this window, I would set my grid to maybe 10 thousandths of an inch for the non-etched spacing, then click apply, click OK. Non-etched refers to anything that's not copper. So then I can go to add line. My settings are still the same over there, but now I can have finer control over my um, thing. And if I make a weird corner, I can right click, choose oops, and then keep going. Right click, oops. And then I can click a segment and hit can hold the control key and then click another segment. And I can delete the vertex. You know, I can change the width of the line. 
I can fix the lines, connect them, you know, change the layer they're supposed to be on. There are all kinds of options here. Another shape we can do is um, add an arc with radius. I'll also put this on the dimension layer. Now, just so you know what to do, um, let's go and display the command window. So go to display windows command, and then this tells you what to do when you're in a command. Go to add um, arc with radius, then it's going to say pick arc center point. So I'm going to arc, pick arc start point over there, and then pick arc end point like this. That's how you make an arc. And then you can pick the next arc center point, end point, and make another arc. Right. And then you, of course, you could set like the line width, the lock angle, the line font. So if you only want to rotate by 90 degrees, then it'll lock you to that 90 degree angle. But if you want, you can adjust by 45 degrees or so. Right click, choose done. You can also then uh, right click, excuse me. You can also then go to edit and move. Move this thing around. And then right click, rotate the arc. Then move your arc onto some line, right click, choose done. Hold down the control key. I'm going to combine these two lines. Hold down the control key, select those two. See how they're highlighted. And right click line segment connect lines now when i select this thing when i when i hover over this it it makes the it selects the whole shape and here the right click choose done okay but because i was in shape creation mode but if i get out of that mode and i'm just in general edit mode then i can select the individual lines all right so now I'm going to select this, right click and delete it. Yeah. And then you do that. Now you can also do certain things like with these vertices, you can right click on the vertex and move the vertex like so. Make a little bit of extension there. And here you can also move this vertex, right click, move vertex. Yep. There you go. And then that's how you can make a shape. Really, you can you can also, you know, you can like copy this and then make another curve. Um, the copy is immediate and then you can right click, rotate this. You get your other curve. It goes like that. Yeah. Right click choose done. Right click delete this one. Actually, uh, let's undo that. Then right click move vertex. Then I right click move this line, move it there. And that's how you do that. You can also select multiple lines, Let's delete them, select these, right click copy. And now you have a thing where you can, you know, it's copied there. It looks like that. Right click done. And then of course you can extend your vertex. Now this is an arc. This is the this is the vertex of an arc, so it's going to follow its predefined uh, angle. So this one, I might move this here. Give me some kind of um, thing. Right click, move this vertex. All right. And if you have stuff that's dangling, you can just, you know, delete it. It almost starts to feel like a AutoCAD kind of thing, you know?
There you go. I'm going to go into delete mode and delete these things. Right click choose done. All right. So if you use those principles, you can you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. That is how you create a custom design outline with uh, and just a few of the options you can uh, make use of to create pretty much anything you want. Thanks for watching.